This video covers the brake pad and caliper replacement for vented rotor disc brakes manufactured by Tie Down Engineering. The vented rotor and aluminum caliper provide superior heat dissipation for cooler running brakes. The brake assembly used in this video is a 10 inch, 5 lug integral rotor model. The information provided applies to both 10 inch, 5 lug and 12 inch, 6 lug integral and cap style disc brakes. The tools required for this job are a foot pound torque wrench, a medium flat blade screwdriver, a 3 16 and 7 16 inch box end wrenches, and number 262 Loctite. The brake pads can be replaced without removing the brake line in most cases. If you need to remove the brake line to move the caliper, keep the open end of the brake line elevated to reduce the amount of brake fluid draining from the system. It may be necessary to re-bleed the system after reattaching the brake lines. After removing the tire and wheel from the axle, locate the two stainless steel slider pins on the rear of the caliper. Determine at this time if you will need to remove the brake line to move the caliper to the top of the rotor. Using the box end of a 7 16 inch wrench, remove the slider pins from the caliper. Hold the caliper in place on the rotor when removing the second slider pin. Pull the caliper off of the rotor and set it on top of the rotor to be able to replace the pads. This can also be done on your workbench if the brake line is removed. The outside brake pad is removed first. The outside pad has tabs that may need to be straightened slightly to remove the pad from the caliper. Use a flat bladed screwdriver to bend the tabs out. Before removing the inside pad, the piston needs to be pushed back into the caliper. This can be accomplished by using a C-clamp. Attach the C-clamp to the middle of the inside brake pad and to the back of the caliper. The pad should be pushed back to within one quarter inch of the caliper housing. Remove the C-clamp, pull the pad to the center and out of the caliper. Remove any accumulated dirt or trash from the caliper area. Insert the outside pad first. The outside pad has two tabs that fit into the caliper. The inside pad uses a spring clip which fits into the caliper piston. Position the caliper over the rotor. Align the caliper so that the mounting bracket is to the inside of the caliper. Coat the threads on the stainless steel slider pins with Loctite 262. Do not assemble without Loctite on the slider bolts. Damage to the brakes will occur if this is not done. After tightening the bolts with the box end wrench, use a foot-pound torque wrench to tighten the slider pins to 40 foot-pounds each. If the brake hose was removed during this work, reattach at this time. Rebleed brake lines if the lines were disconnected. <laughs>